As if I wasn't embarrassed enough, sir, you have to yell at me. Evening loves, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. Consider this part four of maybe five. Every time I say it's gonna be a three-parter, it becomes a four, then a five, then a six. Eventually I'll start doing introductions instead of stopping in the middle. Currently it's March 5th and we're gonna go back a bit, but I just wanted to check in with you guys before we get into some things, because this one's got a little bit of everything. A little bit of shopping, a little bit of self-care, a little bit of eating well a lot of bit of working make sure you stay tuned to the very very end i have a story time <laughs> even thinking about it's making me laugh again and if you want more you can head over to patreon because that's where i'm at when i'm not on here so let's get into it <laughs> i'm obsessed with these pants they're so comfy so cute Something I gotta show you, let me take my glasses off for this. I'm super hyped. And unless you're a plant lady like me, this is not gonna make any sense to you. So I finally was successful at propagating something. I shouldn't take too long doing this because I don't know if it's gonna go into shock. But a couple months ago, months ago, I cut off a piece of this beautiful plant that I watered yesterday because I gotta stay on hydrating these. To lose a snake plant that used to go in this container. Don't even know if you guys got to see it. It was so pretty. It was like this one, but it had a lighter color tip. Look at it at the window yesterday. Thing fell over, <laughs> over water. So I was devastated. I'm like, you know what? It's a new year. Let me not do what I did last year, which is I will keep this like this for a year. So I threw it out right away and I wish I didn't because I could use the container to try to propagate this one from dum -da -dum, dum dum this snake plant, which has been sprouting so well lately that I figured the family's not gonna mind if I take the cousins away to try to make another new plant today. Fingers crossed that I can do this as well as I thought. I'm just gonna pour, I don't know how I do it since I hate capital H dirt. But doing this reminds me of my grandma who used to have so many plants in her place. Oh. And that's why I put my phone like this. I'm on my lunch break and I don't wanna miss messages and I don't like having the alerts on. If you work an office job, doesn't the ping distract you? Studies show that every time you look at your phone, that distraction takes about seven minutes for you to really get back in the flow. Even if you look and you get back into typing, it's not the same rhythm or productivity as if you weren't disrupted in the first place. So I'm back. So now I go over here and I check to see. I don't know if you can see me over here. Yeah? Okay, we're good. I have notification on my phone. I confirm it over. <coughs> That's the thing about my lunch breaks, I'm always technically still working. Sometimes I just work through. But I'm trying to get better at either going out to a cafe for a break or actually taking the full hour away from the screen. Not only is it good for mental health, obviously, but for my vision. I've been noticing my eyes are getting worse much faster and it's clearly, 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 clearly because I've been staring at the screen. You know what I was thinking? Maybe this one is too big. What is this? Is that my lip gloss? I would be the one to get my lip gloss on my triceps. What triceps? Okay, I hope I didn't do too much with that. How is this one doing? And you, you seem good too. Add a little bit more water, but I don't want to overwater you. I wipe this up, that's nasty. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Boots are clicking like their heels because they ain't got heels, but this is one of my favorite home stores in all of Toronto. There's only one location. I love this. These ones are so pretty. I just don't want stones in my house for spirits though. It got cold by the end of it. I'm gonna turn on this heater real quick before I do because I'm gonna get loud. Let me show you. I got roti 
from the spot that my mom used to go to when I was really, really little. That place must have been around longer than I've been alive. And then I decided to treat myself to some Greg cookies. I got Nutella and red velvet. That's what's up. Ordered this the last time I was at Crate and Barrel, but it was out of stock, or that's why I ordered it, I should say. I don't think I'm gonna have this tonight because I already have a lot going on unless I save the cookies for tomorrow. I don't know if I can though. If you saw last month's vlog, you might recognize this. Smoky popcorn salad. If you didn't know, when I was doing the Daniel fast last month, popcorn was one of my favorite snacks because you can actually have it. There's a lot of things that you cannot snack on when you're doing that fast. I'm more of a sweet than salty person. Well, truthfully, I would say savory, sweet, salty. How about you? Anywho, speaking of, let me get to eating this roti. I'm so excited. once in a while, you know? I figured since it's a long weekend and it's Sunday, I might as well make a really special brunch. Can't even lie, the Nutella was doing the most though, but I'm here for it. And truth be told, if I were to leave my house and get this, I made a French vanilla latte and it's pretty good. Toronto is so expensive. I want to save my coins because I got a lot of things I want to spend on in the next couple weeks and months. So I mean, it's not bad for me to get in the mindset of routine. I'm really happy that I'm just having a super low key, but super sugar filled long weekend. I woke up today and I'm like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have slept in so much. I only have two days. And I was like, what? I got Monday. I'm gonna wake up really early tomorrow though, because I want to get a lot of things done. I wanted to go to the dry cleaner, but it's closed today. And of course it's closed tomorrow. So I'll save that for Tuesday before I go in office. I'll just drop it off on the way. Then everything else I want to run, I have to actually Google and see if they're open. Minus the last three, four years, I worked every single family day. So in my mind, most things are open, but I forget that most people actually don't work on family day. Working in a different industry makes me realize how grateful I am to have these holidays off that I never had off before. This podcast using the Powerpuff Girls theme song is killing me right now. No, this is killing me trying to light this candle every time. That's an Olympic record for me. It usually takes way longer. Always cut your wicks. Safety first. I feel so accomplished when all of my groceries fits in my backpack. So I got a buy bag. It's just such a cheap. I'm gonna do a video on TikTok on all the ways that I budget that save me money so that I can go out, enjoy myself, travel, buy nice clothes, get my hair done, get my nails did, which I'm not gonna stop doing simply because I need my nails to have a break. I don't even want to know how thin they are when I take off this overlay. You're thinking this flavor with this pasta, and yes, I did OD with the Parmesan, but I love this flavor of kombucha. It's my favorite after ginger, and I just figured why not? So here goes, cheers. <laughs> I'm really not into alcohol anymore, so. This is how I get my little fizzy fizzy on. So much better than regular kombucha, which sometimes smells like barf. It's on family day, that's why I called, to make sure you were feeling better. Oh, A lot of people don't know that. It's actually 
podcast, but I can't get that song out of my head. I'm going to try to find something similar to that and put it in my next vlog. Now you just get some music fever. <laughs> There's so many Soka songs that bring back good memories. I want to play math this year, but I don't know if any of the friends I used to play math with in the past still do it. Because everyone's moved on. Like everyone's married and has babies and all that stuff. So I don't know if it's like a family thing with their new little ones or they only do it overseas right now. I think today's the last day of the Trini one. Yes, I'm coin my hair with my clip. Don't act like you've never done it. Another day, another dola. I left my vlog camera at home. This place is always tempting me when I come into work, so I figure, why not? Let's get one today. I love this color. Can't see how much it is, though. hard drives, but I can't see where the hard drives would be when I ask somebody. Do they still wear blue shirts in here? Is that? No, that's flash drives. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Maybe on this side. Nope. So down here? No, these look like whole computers. I just need an external hard drive. Apparently, completely wrong direction. It's at customer service. I guess it's behind the counter. Like, who would have thought external hard drives? People really teething them like that? Oh my gosh, are you seeing this? They called for snow, and snow is what we got. tonight I know my mom's gonna watch this vlog and when she gets to this part she's gonna call me up real quick make it rain with the floss so tell me why this clip is not gonna hold this up forget that I I don't have words I did my kitchen like this this morning what was that did you hear that am I losing my mind or am I losing my mind something fell Let's clean up a little bit because this is not the vibe. This is not that messy yet, but you know. You know me, you know me, you know me. I like to keep it clean. I don't even know what this is that I bought. How long will it take to turn off this time? See how long it's taking. This iMac is on the struggle bus. For real, for real. Love us. Wow, it's still trying to turn on? Right on time. I don't remember when I ordered this. Probably, it wasn't yesterday, maybe the day before. That was aggressive. But first, this bath mom, the epitome of bougie. Hello, sparkle. Actually, a lot of the sparkle came off because my bag was so packed. Very, very zesty, which I probably should have went with more of like a lavender or lemongrass or something to wind down after today, but hey. I'm surprised it was only $9 because a lot of times the bath bombs these days are like 11 and up. First of all, this tester is going to last me at least two months because a little bit goes a really long way. And for the man I buy at Lush, usually they give it to me complimentary without me asking. So this time when I asked for it, I was like, noted. I feel like companies are getting a little more cheap just because of the times we're in, but noted. I, growing up, hated peppermint foot cream. But once you realize how much this changes the game... Oh, should I make sure I'm in the frame? Ooh, not magnifier exiting out on me. This is how I make sure nowadays that I'm in the frame by checking the viewfinder. A bag in a box! 
Ross, yet again. So excited for these. Okay, clearly when I hit click, I was in a different season because these are not for what's going out outside in the Arctic, but definitely giving spring vibes with both of these. I saw this skirt a couple weeks ago, but I didn't have the gift card that my mom gave me for my birthday and for Christmas. She gave me two. I was like, what? You rich, rich now. You know me, I live in creams. So I figured I would pair it with this, and this is something I can also wear under my blazers at work. Obviously, this is more of a vacation vibe. But you wanna have those pieces and I got a lot of them pieces that you can work for different outfits. I don't know about the tie part though. We'll see how that looks when I try it on later. Or maybe I'll do a side profile because I got <laughs> templates for that now. Are the place where some years you just give them all your money and other years you're like, what is this? And how are you still in business? But I got this. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but the concept, I love it. It's long. It's sateen. Not with the belt though. The belt is giving Forever 21. Without the belt, it's giving bed sheet, but I'm gonna put my own belt on it. Oh, I feel like I'm giving Peter Pan Jack Sparrow sleeves right now. So I'm gonna pirate teens over here. I'm loving the cream. I'm loving the little gold balls. It's uh, a little Mormon for me. It's giving 300 BC. Let's see if we can there we go. The last one was easiest. So I threw shorts underneath because I figure if I wear this in the summer and a breeze catch through, I'm not trying to give a Marilyn Monroe over here. This is so my vibe. I don't even know what it looks like, but it feels so comfy, but so classy. I used to love very structured dresses, but as you can tell, I'm clearly in between sizes nowadays. So I don't like to play with that too much. I mean, a good body comp time to time. Classy and chic. Here for it. This took so long to get on. It's so tight. Oh, the color is pretty. I feel like I have something similar to this. So on top of it not being the right size, I'm taking this top back. I'm in the same type of white. This is more of a cream. This is also in a double extra small, but I guess it has more give. It's not cutting off circulation like the top did. Tonight has just been an epitome for the way this year has been, which is why you haven't seen much of me. Let's start from the top. I was supposed to post a vlog after two weeks. I was gonna give myself a two week break. Clear that hasn't happened because now we're coming on to two months. That is great. Secondly, and more importantly, I tried to post four days ago then it only rendered 20 minutes of a 30 minute vlog. So I deleted everything and I started again. Then it only did 10 minutes and I said, what's going on iMac? You've carried me so long, what's wrong with you? Are you tired, are you tired? So I rebooted my computer system, same problem. Tried this for four consecutive days. I said, okay, not today. I went on my lunch break, looked up some external hard drives, went to Best Buy. Like I said, it's like contraband. I don't know why it's behind the desk. I waited in line for a bit and I looked at my phone and I'm like, I, I, I can't use up my entire lunch break for this. So that's when I ended up going to last year. And then I figured, you know, I'll just order online. Hopefully, like the last time, Best Buy will come by tomorrow so I can have the vlog up. Part one of three. This is going to be part three. And we're not doing these weekly anymore because that's a bit much for me with editing and with work. I, I gotta keep it real, but when these are up and they're stuck, I hope you enjoy them all the same. So as I was saying, not me leaving. I gotta tell this story straight. See, I'm starting to laugh again. So I left the dentist, $300 later, hello. No cavities though, but $300? Yo, life's expensive. And then I was walking and it's dark and I can't see the well, so I stepped right in a puddle. My left foot went all the way in and my socks soaked and I'm like, you know what? We're already here. It already happened. Water off the back or water out the boot, whatever the saying is at this point. So the grocery store is not too far away. So I'm like, let me just pick up a couple things because this storm is predicted to go from earlier today all the way until tomorrow and I'm not trying to leave my house. Figured, let me just get everything and as bad as it is, maybe it's better that I'm already in it so I can get out of it. Go to the grocery store, it's, it feels like an apocalypse. There's like two people there. It's like the end of the world, but not like in the frantic when COVID first started and everyone was buying toilet paper instead of buying real necessities. It was just like eerily quiet, which I'm not mad at because usually that grocery store is packed, packed, but they weren't stocked in a lot of things I needed, which I think considering what comes next is a good thing. 
So I leave the grocery store and I just think, okay, let me just run for the bus and then I'll get home. Keyword run. When I say run, I mean literally run in a blizzard run with improper shoes with a soaking sock run. So I run. The bus is coming, so it gives me more of a reason to run, run, run. Guys. Boom. Fall. Never in my life. Actually, that's a lie. One time when I lived in Brampton, I was wearing boots. I had no business wearing it. And when you live in Brampton, you know the snow is no joke out there. So that was the one time that I slipped three times going up the hill to go home. But I mean, the girl deserved it. Run, fall, body sprawled out, starfish. I felt so bad that my zucchini fell out of my grocery bag and projectiled. I got up, picked up my zucchini, and I'm trying to walk, but be more cautious and realize that the bus is gonna leave. And the way the buses run out there, I wasn't trying to wait for another one because that'd be the time it takes for me to get home. Sometimes those buses come two minutes in between, sometimes it's 20 minutes in between. So I'm trying to walk carefully, but still quickly after dropping one time. Tell me why I take a couple steps and fall a second time. Now I look up and the bus doors are open and the light is green. So I'm like, okay, someone saw me. The driver probably saw me and they're waiting out of pity. That's actually a good thing in this case because the snow is coming down hard at this point. I'm wondering if I rip something. I feel like my knees are sore. Like what is life? I pick up myself a second time again and I'm like, I'm walking. They're clearly waiting for me. So I'm walking. So I walk gingerly to the front door, I tap my pass, and the driver said, all you have to do is wave, like turn your phone flash on and wave, and I would wait for you. I don't know that's an international symbol of a bus driver waiting for you, and I told her, oh, thank you so much, that's really kind, but I've had some not so kind drivers who've seen me run in thunderstorms and blizzards, and I haven't dropped down, and they still pass. Sometimes to the point where I run up, the door is right here, they look and they close it on me. Some people, I'm gonna pray for them. Not only does the driver take mercy on me, the driver's driver, because there's another guy in a TTC uniform, I don't know if he's done his shift, if he's going home, if he's trainer, I don't know what it is, but there's two TTC people there, the lady driving and a man sitting close but behind her. He's like, are you okay? We all saw you wiped out. As if I wasn't embarrassed enough, sir, you have to yell it for the whole rotted bus to hear that I have to sit on for 20 minutes to get home. Okay. That's been my year. <laughs> so anyway, yoga time, and I'll see you guys in the morning.